Hey, what up? It's boy motherfucker six six six, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make one of these little boxes out of cardboard and tape. <laughs> all right, first of all, these are the things you will need: glue, scissors, a pencil, um, some sort of a coping for the edges, and cardboard, a ruler, duct tape, and or scotch tape and some sort of a binder cover. Alright, first of all, what you need to do is gather all these products and then get your pencil, ruler, and cardboard and start measuring. Alright, you you get to decide the length, width, width and um, dimensions of your box. I personally, I made this, I'm going to make this one a little bit lower and smaller. But, um, first cut out two side edges, yes? Um, these ones are going to be a little bit smaller than the last one because that one's a little bit too high. But then, um, after that, you're going to take those and the length and width of those and use that to determine how long the top and bottom of pieces are going to be. So what you got to do is mark them. So... One right there, and one right there. Okay, now you got all your sides. All you have to do now is cut them out. Okay. Okay, so now when you have all your cutout pieces of cardboard, you're going to want to first pick how you're going to set it up. Alright, so you're going to like do some, not measurements, but like place them where you want them to be. And then you're going to get some tape. Hold on, let me set the camera here so you guys can watch this. Alright, you're going to want to cut out a couple pieces of tape. First, use your scotch tape. For the beginning part. Okay. Now, once you got it right there, you're going to want to first place it on the inside. So, very carefully. Okay, so once it's taped in, make sure it's pressed in real good. And nothing's going to mess it up. Okay, now once you're done with that side, you're going to want to go on to the other side. Belt, roller belt, leather belt, 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 belt. Now you're going to want to repeat the same step for the other side. Okay, now once you have your, the other side complete, it'll look like this. And it can either be the bottom or the top. I'd prefer it to be the bottom. But, um, and then you're going to get your other piece of cardboard and tape it on. Okay, so, let me just do this real quick. Well, first of all, you're going to want to first put it on the inside. By putting it, lining that up. Hold on. Okay, and then you're going to put this down right there, fix, adjust it according to how you want it, okay, and then you're going to want to do the outside, you're going to get a piece for the outside and then repeat the process, the step for the other side, okay, so once you take down the top, it's going to look like this, alright, you might be thinking, well, he forgot about these two little pieces, well, it's actually somewhat optional because you can either put one on one side or whatever and make this a little storage space for something else or put like little weights in it if it's not heavy enough. But personally, I would just put, well, cut out a piece of cardboard right there and put one right there and then fill it up with newspaper so it's really heavy and condense it and then put another one. So here, I'll show you how to do that. 
Okay, so once you have that side of the cardboard taped in and stuff, you have one side open, alright? So what you're going to want to do is get some newspaper. And all you got to do is ball it up so it'll fit in there. And this will make it a little bit more heavier so it doesn't slide away when you're using it. So just going to want to put it in there. Hold on, hold on, let me make this. But don't make it so it will like make the thing break on from the inside. And get some more newspaper balled up. And put it on in there. Hold on. Okay. Uh oh. Never mind. Alright, so once you have it filled, it's a little bit heavier. But that's all you need, really. And now you're just going to want to cut out the other side and tape it in. So, wait, hold on. Let me find it. Where did I put it? Is this it? Yeah. Alright, hold on. Once you got that piece, all you gotta do is get some tape. This box is going to be a little half-assed compared to my other one. That one's for me, and I spent a lot of time. Alright, so now you'll have this. Almost a completed product. Okay? Okay, so now what you're going to want to do, I mean, it your should already be pretty stable and nice. But what I like to do is I like to wrap it in some duct tape for extra support. But I'm not going to do that because it doesn't need it. This one's a little bit stronger than my last one. So now all you got to do is measure the correct length lengths for um, the your sheet of cardboard and stuff. And then you don't really need some for the bottom. But I would put duct tape on the bottom so um, whatever side you choose as the bottom, it won't slide as much. And just put this on the sides, and then put a little bit duct tape there, and there, just to make it look cool or whatever. Alright, so hold on. Okay, so once you're done putting duct tape on the bottom, it really helps how much it slides and stuff. I just put it on the sides, because that's the only part I'm not putting that on and on the bottom. And now once you cut out your pieces according to how big the sides and the top are, all you have to do now is glue them with some Elmer's glue. So here, I'll show that stuff. Okay. Now make sure when you glue it, you let it dry. Because, or like tape down the sides of the edges to each other. So um, it doesn't fold up or anything. Alright, so hold on. Okay, so I have the top down. You're going to want to let that dry for like a couple seconds. Press on it to make sure it won't come up or anything. And then repeat the steps for the sides. Okay, so once you have glued on all the cardboard and stuff, I just like to tape the edges together just so that it, nothing comes unpeeled or whatever. So um, once that's a little bit done drying, you get your coping or whatever you, you're going to use and you measure it and then cut it. Personally, I use this really hollow stuff. Well, this hollow um, bang of metal that from like RC car remote controls or whatever. They're just these little pieces of uh, the, the, the antennas. So all you got to do is hold on. Let me snap this so it fits correctly. So, alright, once you have your little piece of, um, coping, all you gotta do is barely put a little bit of glue along the edge, right about there, 
and let it dry. Alright, so. Okay, so once you glue the coping on, you gotta let it dry for about an hour or so because it's still real, like, way deep in there, it'll still be drying and it might fall off, so you just gotta wait it out. So there you go. All you gotta do now is color it, sharpie it, whatever, put stickers on it, do whatever you want, and you got yourself a little box. So skate it up. Comment, rate, subscribe. Alright, thanks. Bye.